and things that I wanted because I'm getting my puppy tonight. That was my mommy, that was my mommy bag. It also has a squeaker. That one is incredibly annoying. I love him so much. I can't even, like I don't want to put him down. Welcome to the start of my puppy vlog. I just spent all day shopping with Jody. We went to a bunch of different pet stores to pick up some food and all of the supplies and things that I will need because I'm getting my puppy tonight. This is my first time owning a, a dog of my own. I've had family dogs my entire life, but this is my first time having one that's my own. I am getting an Italian Greyhound. He's a little blue and white boy, and I'm very, very excited to meet him. But first, I have this haul of puppy things that I've got going on right now that I want to show you guys and tell you what I got for my first day with my puppy. Hopefully uh, it'll make it easier on you if you're getting a puppy so you don't forget anything. It can help you with your sort of checklist and I'll show you around my house what I have set up. So I'm just gonna get started with what I've got next to me. First things first, um, Italian Greyhounds are very small dogs and they are prone to leg breaks. So I got stairs. They're nice and cushy and they're the height of my bed and my couch. So um, he can have these stairs to walk up so that he's not jumping up and down and breaking his legs. Next, um, I got a Whirlpool water fountain, which is just a circulating water fountain thing. And I know my roommate Jody uses these for her cats, but hers broke recently. So we just bought a new one, which is like, it, it's gonna be like the watering hole. As you can see, there's a cat and a dog. Um, don't mind my busted nail, okay? I had, I had a rough week. Next, this is just his carrier. It's just a carrier. I thought that the color was really cute. It has like side pockets, which is nice. The inside is like a little Sherpa pad, but I'm gonna put some other stuff in there too to make him nice and comfy. I have a couple of bed choices going on. This one is really nice and cute and you know, whatever, I like it. It works, it has this like no slip bottom. And then this one is just super freaking fuzzy. And then I ordered one more, like a canopy bed on Amazon. Uh, and then he can just pick his favorite. Over here, this was one of my Christmas presents from my parents that I'm very, very excited about. It is a um, Max Bone Carrier that my dog is totally not going to fit in yet. This is gonna be a little bit big for him, but it stays open on the side so he can stick his head out, which is really cute. I'm gonna pick him up in this tonight though, cause this is the more classic carrier. Next, I just have his food and water bowl. I wanted something that was like cute and sleek. I got this from Petco. It just has like an elevated basin. If he's too short, the bowls come out and I'll just place them on a towel or something like that. So this bag is my bag of puppy mom things. I've got these bark jerky sticks, which were actually gifted to me, um, but they're dog treats. One other tip that I've gotten from a lot of people and just from the internet is that with all of these meats, we don't know which ones he's going to like, which ones he might be allergic to. So I'll be introducing different meats in you know, controlled time frames. So I know that if I give him this pork, if he starts developing a rash or or redness or anything like that, um, I'll know that it's most likely the pork and then I can just know that for the rest of his life. I gotta say, I went to this store called Healthy Spot and I think it was my favorite animal like pet store that I've been to before. Um, I asked for training treats because I think I'm gonna begin training very, very early. Some things that I'm gonna work on with him on immediately are going to be sit, leave it, and the sort of like stay thing. And I'm planning on doing the thing where I have the food in my hand and I close it when he goes for it until I say okay and allow him that release to go for the food. Um, that's so if I drop something on the floor that he can't eat, uh, he knows not to, to just eat that. Those kind of things are really um, important when you're first training a dog. But he's got more in here. These are snack sticks with bacon. He's got all sorts of flavors to choose from, but uh, yeah, so here's some snack sticks that help remove tartar, which is good, to massage his gums. These ones, wholehearted puppy treats with DHA. This is lamb and salmon. So like I said, I won't be introducing like the lamb and salmon and chicken all at the same time. They will come in, in different times. I went with Jody uh, to, to Petco um, and she feeds her cats tiki, tiki cat. Um, so I know the ingredients are good. And she recommended, like all of these treats are hard treats. Uh, she recommended a mousse or something wet. So I went ahead and got this, which is chicken with chicken liver and pumpkin and pumpkin broth. 
So we'll see if he likes the wet stuff. Okay, next is, I don't know, the other stuff. Um, this is just a cleaner. I don't want him to pee somewhere on the floor, smell the pee and think that that's where he can go. So I wanted to make sure that it was something that was going to uh, destroy the odor and it's safe uh, for pets, family and home, which makes me feel really good about it as well. And then, you know, just some, some poop bags, nothing crazy about this. They're just, they just pick up his shit. One thing about Italian greyhounds uh, that you may not know is that they are prone to dental issues. So I got an adult toothbrush. The dude gave me an adult toothbrush. I hope that doesn't mind or that doesn't matter too much. Anyways, I got this from Healthy Spot. Um, it's a toothbrush and it comes with toothpaste and a little thing that holds it. Uh, Italian greyhounds are prone to dental issues um, and they often lose their teeth and have like gum disease and you know problems. So uh, most people recommend that you brush an Italian greyhound's teeth every day. So that's gonna be a part of my routine and I wanna get him started young on being familiar and comfortable with having the toothbrush in his mouth. Uh, next is just some nail clippers, which Honestly, I'm probably gonna take my dog in to get his nails clipped, but in case of emergencies, in case I'm not able to make it for a long time, I just wanted to have some. And also I can start his familiarity with this young and let him know that it's not going to harm him by exposing uh, him to this at a young age. So next, uh, I ordered a crate off of Fable and it came with some other things. I got like their starter kit was these uh, cleansing wipes. So, you know, he's a boy, he's probably gonna pee on himself. So I wanted to make sure that I had things to clean him off when he needs it. Um, I love that it's made without alcohol, parabens, chlorine, chlorine dyes, or fragrances, and it's a lot of really natural ingredients um, that are just gonna help clean him up. Next, I just have the portable water bowl, which I'll bring with me tonight. This is from Max and Bone. It's collapsible. You just pour water into it and you can bring it on the go. I got this, um, this holds your poop bags and honestly, whatever else, it's pretty big. It can definitely hold more than poop bags. So I like this, it's a cute color. And then I got a mash matching leash. The cool thing about this leash is it's one of the ones that ties around your waist. So this is the part that goes around your waist and this is the actual leash. So these came together. And then also from Fable, I have this collar, which I, and I think is gonna be absolutely way too massive for him. Obviously I can slim it down, but um, I think he's gonna be really small. So this is the extra small. I don't think it'll fit. Uh, this is the only collar I have for him right now just because he's gonna be at home with me because he's not, he hasn't had a second set of vaccinations or anything like that. I'm picking him up at like nine weeks, I think. Uh, so he's not gonna be going out on walks uh, in the city anyways. So that's okay for now. And then I just have these bully sticks uh, to keep him occupied. They're, you know, small bully sticks. Um, yeah, that was my mommy, that was my mommy bag. The less fun stuff. Now let's look at the puppy playpen. Um, I decided to get one that was collapsible and has this like mesh material. I got this off of Amazon. I believe I got the size medium, but I like this one because it's portable and it doesn't have, the, it's like not like the ugly cages and everything like that. So as you can see, I've piled some blankies in here. Uh, and then just toys. I just have toys because I don't know what he's gonna like and I wanted to get him a variety of things. Um, and this is just the beginning, I promise. So I've got this little bear. Jody convinced me to get this guy because she said that both of her cats have a like forever toy that's gonna be with them that they've had since they were kittens. And so she recommended this one to try out and I think he's really cute. So hopefully he likes it. Here's a rope with a ball. This ball is probably gonna be bigger than his head. And then I have this little guy, I believe his name is Gru, uh, and he has a squeaker somewhere in here. I apologized to all of my roommates ahead of time for the squeaky toys. <laughs> Jodi also recommended this because her family dogs have this one and they love it. So uh, I just went ahead and bought it because why the heck not? It's cute. It also has a squeaker. That one is incredibly annoying. Can't wait to hear that all night. And then I have this ball that you put treats in. So it's something that he can play with and is also stimulating for his brain. This was gifted to me from my niece, but I think that my um, my puppy will really like it. So it's just like a little stuffed toy for him. This is something that I really did want to talk about. This is a uh, stuffed animal that you can heat in the microwave and it'll be all warm and fuzzy and cuddly. So I got this for him uh, so that he can snuggle with it and it'll be warm and he can cuddle. It'll be like having another animal or a human or whatever. So I'm, I really, really hope he likes this one. I actually might take some out before he gets home. And this also came in my starter kit from Fable. It is a, another toy where you put treats and then they have to figure how to get them out. So. 
that is the last of my toys and I have lots more blankets for him. Okay. I also bought some clothes. This is gonna be too big for him, but I can't wait for him to grow into it. It's a little ducky onesie. It's from Fab Dog, super cute. This is also from Fab Dog and I have matching pajamas. And then these are both from Amazon. This is just a black ribbed sweater and then this is a striped sweater. I wanna get him used to wearing clothes early on because Italian greyhounds have very little body fat and very little fur and they get cold. So I'm just gonna stick them in some stuff. Okay, so I also wanted to show you my potty situation since I live in an apartment. So uh, I got this grass pad from Backyard Balcony, which is LA local fresh grass, which I love because turf can get really stinky. So as you can see, this is real fresh grass that's cut really slim uh, and it comes in this, I believe it's stainless steel tray and then this cute little uh, wood tray. And I got the biggest size available just because I want him to have, to have room to move around. I bet he's gonna take up this much of it when he pees, but I wanted him to have some time to spend in the grass. The reason why I'm doing this on the balcony is because my puppy will not have his vaccinations for a little while and I live in an area where I cannot walk him if he's not vaccinated. My apartment does have a puppy or like a dog area for them to go run and play and everything. But again, he's not vaccinated yet uh, because he's only nine weeks old uh, and he only had his first set of vaccination. So after he gets the second, I can start taking him out on walkies and all that kind of stuff. But this is a really great option because I just get to walk a couple of feet when I need to take him out. And as you know, potty training can be hard. So I wanna say a huge thank you to Backyard Balcony for uh, providing me with this. I'm gonna get it changed weekly, which I'm really excited about. And as you can see, there's this little fire hydrant steak in the middle of it. And it's supposed to be scented to help them know that like, this is where you go potty. So yeah, that's what I'm doing in terms of potty training. So next order of business is his crate. And I'm a little sad because I got him this super, super cute crate from Fable Pets. However, it is handmade and takes quite some time to make. I think it's like three to four weeks, um, especially with COVID and things being hard to get materials and ship stuff out and whatever. So I had to get him a temporary crate, which is just a wire crate off of Amazon, but I have the bed that goes in the Fable crate here and we'll just wait on the crate. Unfortunately, my puppy is gonna be <laughs> this size. Um, and if he is in this crate, he's gonna pee and poop all over the place all night. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way. Unfortunately, this crate from Amazon did not come with a puppy divider. So I'm gonna need to figure out some kind of way to divide this crate. And when I figure it out, I will show you. I went ahead and <laughs> cut out a piece of cardboard and put it in there uh, with Velcro zip ties in order to keep it in position to make the space smaller to help with potty training. I'm gonna go get a blanket so that I can drape it over the crate and make it a little bit cozier for him because this looks jank. But yeah, this is how I ended up making it a puppy divider. Hello vlog. This is your first formal introduction to my boyfriend, Byron. Say hello. Hello. Hello, this is Byron. Who? Byron! Who? Byron! Um, he took me to the airport. We are waiting now for the puppy and yeah, I'm very excited. We're gonna see him very. Oh, you're not even. Not even you're in not it. Even in not even in it. You're too tall. Um, but I'm very excited. We're gonna see him soon. And yeah, the airport was a fucking mess getting in. It was horrible. So, it's also very late. It's like midnight right now. This dude works in the morning, but we're here. <laughs> okay, we just picked him up from the airport, and he's in my lap. Byron's driving. Thank you, Byron. It's very late. It's like almost 1 a.m. right now. Um, but here he is, safe and sound. He's sitting on my, whoa. He came with some toys and some foods. He and is a little stinky. Yeah, he's a little stinky. He smells a bit like pee pee, but that's okay because I will clean him when we get home. <laughs> he's a little smelly though, but he's really cute. And he, apparently he slept on the entirety of the flight, which was really nice as well. Which means that I'm gonna be up all night. Yeah, can have a little rager with him. What are you eating? Okay, so he is totally obsessed with my boyfriend. I love he, him. He loves him. He has snuggled up into his lap every time and every time Byron pets him, he just totally calms down. It's really cute. So we just got him home and we took him to go potty, which he did not like because it was cold. So now we're just gonna let him get acquainted, play with some toys, snuggle. He's so sweet. Like in every video, that I saw of him, he looked like he was okay. gonna be crazy, like but closing his eyes he's just blast. so sweet. He's a little sweetie. He just wants to snuggle and be warm. Aww. Okay, so it's like 1.30 maybe, and he's played a lot, snuggled a lot, met the roommates, um, 
ran around my room, made trouble, uh, peed in my room, and he also uh, pooped on his grass pad. We had the grass pad out on the balcony to teach him to go to the bathroom, but he was not having it. It was so cold. He was just shaking and like begging to be held. So we decided to move this big ass thing of real grass into my room. It was incredibly um, heavy. The boys had to bring it in. Um, we ended up putting it in my bathroom. I got grass everywhere, but he pooped on it, which was really good. So we rewarded him, gave him lots of love and some good boys. And now he crawled into my lap and just immediately fell asleep. I love him so much. I can't even, like I don't wanna put him down. I'm exhausted and I think I might sleep like this with him on my lap and I'm just gonna fall asleep because I just can't, I don't wanna let him go. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident about the name Crash. Usually on this wall, um, I have a mirror but he really wanted to get that other dog in the mirror and he ran into the mirror multiple times, head first, in a row. Um, so much so that he knocked the mirror over and we had to catch it. So I'm really feeling like Crash is the perfect name for him. Um, gonna feel it out for a little bit longer, but yeah, this is day one of my puppy vlog. Um, this is our first night together and he's all snuggled up in my lap. And I think that's just like where he wants to be. He loves being held. So I'm really, really pretty happy. Yay. Okay, I just put him down in his crate and he just knocked the fuck out. His face directly into blanket. Sleep time. <laughs> I just love him. So I ended up moving the grass pad into my bathroom and now to get it anywhere, <laughs> I have to go like this. All for the ones, all for the ones you love. Just realized there's a slug in my grass. Um, that's how you know it's real grass. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, it is 7 a.m. after our first night. Uh, I think the only reason he even woke up this early is because I kept turning over to, oh, yeah, what are you saying? Oops, sorry, I accidentally paused it. But it's because I kept turning over to check on him. I think he would have slept throughout the night if I would have just let him. The dude was knocked out in his crate. He was being so good, and then he just kind of whimpered this morning. And then guess what he did? Guess what you did, Crash? What did you do this morning? You want to show the vlog? Show the vlog. He came in here, peed immediately on the grass, and then pooped. That's a good boy. Yeah, you're just a good boy. So I gave him lots of lovings and lots of congratulations, and I'm so freaking proud of him. And it's literally the first night, and he knows to use this already. I'm so proud of you. You're just a good boy. Who's a good boy? Okay, so it's now 10 a.m. We just spent the entire morning cuddling. He would not leave my side. He just wanted to cuddle the whole time. Um, I brought him back in here to go to the bathroom. He almost peed on my rug, but I saw the signs of him starting to pee. So I very quickly picked him up <laughs> and tossed him over to the grass where he went potty again. I'm very proud of him. Now he's having his breakfast, drinking some water, he's eating his breakfast. Right now he's eating Beneful um, Healthy Puppy which was provided by the breeder, but I will be moving him off of that um, as soon as possible. I got food from Just Food for Dogs that I will show you guys later. Oh, there he goes, crashing into things again. <laughs> um, Is that all you wanted? Did you eat your breakfast already? Ow, um, remind me to wear pants. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, he just really likes to be held. Anyways, um, yeah, this is what he's eating for now, but I will be weaning him off slowly and onto, what you doing? What you doing back there? His new food, uh, which is just food for dogs, which is all raw ingredients, which I really like. Let's stay out of there. Come on. Come on, Crash. Okay, bye. Okay, I wanted to show you guys some other thing. This is the puppy food that I'm gonna be using. It's from Just Food for Dogs. I picked this up from a kitchen um, in 
LA. As you can see, these are the ingredients and they are listed as the first set of ingredients also, which makes me very happy. It has all of the nutrition stuff over here. Um, and then I love it's gluten-free and has some really, really awesome ingredients. So it comes in packs like this. And as you can see, there's like the carrots and the greens and, and all of that stuff. So I am going to be weaning him off his kibble and onto this good cook fresh food. And so I have a bunch of them in the freezer and then I thaw them for 24 hours in the fridge so that he can be ready to eat them. Okay, I think that this is going to be the end of my puppy vlog, but I just wanted to show you. Um, I think it's like almost noon and we've gotten up, played, peed and pooed on his pad, um, gotten, woo, gone back to sleep, <laughs> woken back up, um, gone back to sleep again and woken back up again. I think we've taken like a couple naps together already. Um, I was able to like wash my face and eat some food and, and relax a little bit the last time that he napped because he napped in his crate. But yeah, this is kind of the setup that I have right now. I have his little playpen under my desk since I probably won't be on my computer for a little bit. And then his crate, um, his temporary crate rather, uh, while we wait for his new one to come in. But it's nice and snugly in there. And then he has this bed and all of his toys just scattered around my room. As you can see, I had to remove some of my <laughs> decor and close my closet because he's a little bit of a maniac, um, but he's a really sweet boy and he just wants to, it's funny because with every toy, he just wants to play on my lap. Like he will bring anything onto my lap and then, and then play with it there, um, which I think is really sweet. Like he just wants to be around me, which is pretty freaking cute. But yeah, I think this will be the end of the puppy vlog. Let me see if I can get, are you, did you look at the camera? He totally, I feel like he totally looks at the camera. It's funny. Okay, I'm gonna end this one, flip it around and then show you his face. Okay, so here he is playing with his little bear. Aren't you just the cutest? Um, I'm pretty set on the name Crash. I think that it's perfect for him. I love, I love the name. Um, and he's already kind of sort of responding to it. So I, I think I'm gonna stick with that one. It feels right and it feels good, and yeah. So this is Crash, everybody. <laughs> this is Crash, everybody. He's a really, really sweet boy. He just likes to love and play, huh? Thanks so much for watching my puppy vlog. Um, I look like a mess, but hey, <laughs> this is us, and there he goes into his little playpen, and he's gonna go maybe get some toys from in there, snuggle with that blanket. Crash, Crash, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy.